Hey, 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 what's up, what's up? Happy Friday, how's everybody doing? You ready to do this? Tired of being stuck? Let's rock and roll. Let's get in here. Do me a favor, share the feed. Let's make sure we fill the room, let's do this. Let's talk about how we're gonna, let's talk about not being stuck anymore. Why does this happen? Do you lose some weight, make some type of progress or success and then get stuck? If you've been there, I know exactly what it feels. I know what, it, what, what you've gone through. I've been there, we all go through it. Whether it's in business, in fitness, in your job, in your career, even your relationships. So today I'm gonna tell you why this happens and I'm gonna tell you how to stop it so that you can finally break through. Who's excited about this? Who wants to know how to go to the next level? Are you ready, are you ready? If you're there, come and talk to me, talk to me. I won't be talking today until you talk to me. Get me to talk. Comment right there, get some hearts going. Let's rock and roll, it's Friday. You guys excited? Rocio's ready, Luis is ready. Is your face, yay, RB Chef is in the house. RB lost 100 pounds. He's ready to go to the next level. Here we go. All right, so here's, here's what I want you to think about today. Sometimes you make some progress and today we're just gonna focus it on fitness. You lose some weight, you lose some fat, you lose some inches, whatever it is, and then guess what? You start making crazy progress, the beginning, you're on fire, you're motivated, you're following through, and then for some reason the scale doesn't move anymore, right? Who's had this experience before? We all have. We all have. And the problem is you start really motivated and what I want you to think about is your brain. It's so in your brain. I was checking out the Facebook comments right now. By the way, if you wanna follow me on Facebook, I'm on Facebook at Octavio Diaz Fitness. Also check out the Facebook group, No BS Fitness and Motivation. So today we got some people thinking it's hormonal thing. Some people think it's just a plateau. Some people were thinking it's just um, that your body gets used to the actual thing that you're doing and stops, stops giving you results. Some people thought it was psychological. So what do you think, what do you really think it is? It's, it's super simple, you, I mean, once I give you this, you're gonna be shocked, but you're gonna feel, oh my God, I can't believe this is so, so, so simple. Come on, Octavio, give me the real deal. It's so simple, it's, it's, it's stupid. And, and here's how your brain works. If you think about it, your brain is like a thermostat. So what happens? You don't do anything about your body, you don't take care of yourself, until you get to that point where you're like, I've had it, I'm fed up, I'm sick and tired of this, I can't do, live like this anymore, I'm gonna change. You have that breakthrough moment, right? And so then you start making progress and you get to a place where you, okay, you start getting a little comfortable. So it's like a thermostat. If you set up your thermostat at 70 degrees and, uh, and it starts getting cold, it starts getting cold, it gets to 65, you're feeling uncomfortable, you don't like you don't like yourself, you feel like you have no self-esteem, no confidence, you're bloated, you're out of breath, you're sluggish. So guess what? Boom, you crank up the heater, you get up to 70, 70 degrees, you start feeling comfortable. So guess what? Your thermostat is gonna shut down the heater again. Because you got to a place where you're comfortable with. You're uh, what you're comfortable at. Um, and what happens is you're gonna stick around there because guess what? If you keep crushing it, if it gets too hot, then your thermostat's gonna stop until it comes back down. You know what I'm talking about? Is this making sense to you guys? And then the same thing happens um, if you, well, yeah, you, your brain is gonna keep you where you're comfortable. So what happens? Sometimes it's this that you get comfortable, sometimes it's the outside influences, sometimes it's fear of rejection, or people are gonna judge you, you're gonna start getting haters, and you know what? It sucks, sad but true, but the people that are close to you, the people that matter, most of the times are the people that are gonna be trying to bring you down. And, and, and there's nothing you can do about it. All I want you to do is stay focused, okay? So when you get to that 70 degree, you made some changes, Who's saying here, Christine, I love haters, they motivate me. That's right, baby, I'm talking, that's what I'm talking about. I use haters as fuel. They fuel my fire. I, they're not my brakes, they're just the gas. I'm just going hard 
And no matter what, I'm not going to stop. So when you get, if you're at 65 degrees, you start making progress, you get to 70, instead of stopping right there because you're comfortable, here's what I need you to do. Just like if you wanted your room to be warmer, you gotta go to that thermostat, increase the temperature. What I mean by that is, as soon as you achieve that goal, don't hang out and wait and celebrate too much because that's when you get stuck. As soon as you get to 70 degrees, as soon as you achieve your goal, boom, cramp it up, 75. Once you get to 75, boom, crank, crank, crank it up to 80, 85, and you keep going. I don't want this place to be cold. I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to go back to where I came from. I don't want to go back to, feel, to being out of shape and feeling like shit, right? I want some heat. I want the fire. Bring it. Crank it up. It's too hot in here? No matter. Bring the fire, okay? So this thermostat of yours, this brain has no limit. The limit is the ones you set yourself. The ones that the other people around you set. But it doesn't mean you stop there, okay? You have the potential to keep going. You have the potential to do whatever it takes. So once this happens, as soon as you're close to achieving the goal, or once you achieve the goal, you need to right away set the next goal. Don't even wait to achieve it. If you wanna lose 50 pounds, once you're at 40, hey, 10 more pounds is done deal. You did 40 pounds, why wouldn't you do 10 more? So once you get to 40, if you really wanna to go to 50, all right, reach it. I mean, uh, increase it, reach the next goal. Make it 60, make it 70, whatever you want, or make it, okay, I'm gonna get 50, but I'm gonna do this other thing, I'm gonna do this marathon, or I'm gonna do this competition, or I'm gonna wear this, this two-piece bikini, or whatever it is. Only you can decide your goals. But don't wait till you get to 70 degrees. Race it so that you don't stop. Once you lose momentum, that's when it's over. Because the funny thing about momentum is, if you don't keep the ball rolling forward, it's like it's going up. If you stop, it doesn't just stop. It goes back. It goes down on you and it ruins all of your progress. You know what I'm talking about? Very true. Diana, I'm glad you're here again. I see you every day on these streams. I love it. And guys, I'm going to be doing these streams every single day. Every single day. Because I'm going to make sure that this year we stop talking. We stop saying, yeah, this is my year done with that bullshit. Let's just make it happen. So if you have questions, ask me. If you need motivation, ask me. If you have excuses that you're making yourself, I will help you overcome it, okay? So what I think, what I want you to think about is the thermostat thing. Raise the goals once you're getting close to it so you don't stop and get comfortable, okay? As far as the other people around you, there's nothing you will ever do. I promise you, there's always gonna be someone trying to bring you down, trying to hold you back, because guess what? You're making them uncomfortable, you know? You're moving forward, you're showing them, they're realizing the stuff that they should be doing and they're not doing, or they try but they give up and they fail, and they see you succeed so they, they feel uncomfortable. It's a good sign. If you don't have haters, you're not doing anything worthy, okay? Another thing I want you to think about, sometimes there's this fear inside of you holding you back. It's we could call it fear, we could, we could call it guilt, maybe someone in your family or, and, and, or I don't know, whatever it is, an event from your childhood and there's something that holds you back and even though you say, whoa, I don't know what's going on, why, do, why am I not following through, I really want to achieve this goal and there's something, there's like an inner conflict in you that is holding you back, that is stopping you, you make progress and then all of a sudden, who knows how, but you end up ruining it or you end up sabotaging yourself, okay? There's a really good book on that. It's called The Big the Big Leap, and it's called The Upper Limit, where you are holding yourself back because either some guilt or some fear, or you don't, des you don't feel you deserve something, or you don't wanna um, leave somebody behind, or you don't wanna make anybody else feel, feel um, less worthy or anything, and this will, this will stop you from reaching your goals. Sulai read it. Yes, it's a great book. You definitely want to check it out. I know life is busy. You don't have time to read. Do what I do. Get audible.com. You can get the app on your phone and you can listen to it while you're driving, while you're taking a shower, while you're eating, whatever you, I mean, whenever. I listen to them every day. Go to audible.com and get The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. Definitely, definitely worth your time. Your first book is free, says Sulai. Oh, there you go. So go to audible.com and your first book is free. How? See, this is meant to be. Go check it out. 
Um, RB is going in and out. What the hell, RB Chef? Uh, let's see. That's pretty much it, guys. Anything else? What do you guys have to say? Any questions? I don't want to take too much of your time. You gotta, you just gotta go out there and take some action. Navedo said, Luis Navedo says, wow, thanks. One ninety nine on Kindle. Oh, there you go. If you want to read, you can read it as well. Does it matter how you consume the information? What matters is that you consume it. Why are the last pounds the harder to drop? Didn't we just talk about this the whole stream, Sulay? You gotta crank up that heat. Increase that goal. Make yourself uncomfortable. And give yourself some pressure. Give yourself deadlines. Oh, you just got here, Soleil. Okay, you, you wanna watch the replay of this, okay? It's gonna be up here for the next 24 hours. I was losing connection and it kept reconnecting. She was a little late, forgive her. I don't know, I'll think about it, Luis. It's Friday, so we'll forgive you, Soleil. So what's going on this weekend, guys? What are your plans? What's up today? I think we're having a bad signal here. Turn up the thermostat. Lots of hot rosters in the making. Six week challenge. Rest for tomorrow. Starting my challenge. Nice. Everybody's on the right track. See, this is my favorite time of the year because everybody's focused on goals. Everybody's just focused on targets, going all out. I wish all year was like this. Because I know by February, 90% of the people, all that fire will be gone. Make sure that's not you. You gotta stay focused on those targets year round, every day. Not here. Fire is burning, eternal flame, I like that. I like that, add some fuel to that fire. All those haters, all those doubters, that's just fuel to that fire. There you go. Raise your goals. You want to take action on those goals every day. Don't just talk about it. Don't just say, oh yeah, I'm raising my standards, my thermostat. Every single day, seven days a week, whether it's something big or something small, you want to do something that gets you closer to those goals. Whether it's the working out part of it, whether it's preparing your meals, whether it's hanging out with the people that are going to help you to get there, people that make you uncomfortable because they're playing the game at a higher level than you, listening to these audiobooks, checking this, these periscopes. Uh, I post a lot on Facebook, guys, so make sure you follow me on Facebook as well, WDS Fitness. Oh, come on. Connection again. You guys there? Hello, hello, hello. You guys there? If you guys are there, comment or tap the screen or something. I think I'm losing connection here. Okay, there you are. There we are, there we are, there we are. All right, guys. I have about two more minutes before I get on a phone call. Anything else I can help you with today? Food, that's what's hard for me. I run out of options. Christine, that's a very common obstacle. RB Chef is in this stream, so if you can check him out on Facebook, he's got great ideas. Let me give you his his Facebook page. Give me one second. Okay, if you go to Facebook, go to facebook.com slash forward slash the RB Chef. He's got great stuff. He can help you with your meals. There you go. You got the hookup. The RB Chef. Facebook.com forward slash the RB Chef. Delish food. That's right. Fit to me too. Anything in the brain from the sea. All right, make sure you check out RB Chef, 
Facebook.com forward slash the RB champ. He's got some great stuff in there. Uh, all right, guys, I'm out. I got to be on a phone call in a, in a few seconds. I will check in with you tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow you want to check in on Periscope around, actually, exactly at 10.30 a.m. sharp. I'm going to do a motivational speech, motivational talk tomorrow for our challengers. We're going to stream it live. So if you're not there, if you're not doing the challenge, you can still get fired up, get motivated. I'm going to help you bring your game to the next level. You know what you're going to do today? Crank up that heater, that thermostat. Bring the fire, all right? I will see you tomorrow. You have a wonderful Friday. Take care.